Hi, it's Levi from Delphi Technologies. In today's how-to video, we're going to be carrying out a battery replacement on this BMW 330e. If you replace the main battery on many modern vehicles, you need to input this change. There are a few different battery technologies available. In this video, we'll be changing it like for like. If the incorrect type has been previously fitted, we suggest you fit the factory recommended battery. What all batteries have in common is they don't like being overcharged. Let's consider what happened from the moment this vehicle was assembled at the factory. A fresh battery was connected and because it had never been switched on before, the system wakes up assuming that it has a fresh battery, which it has. From that point on, the battery begins to deteriorate. Its capacity begins to reduce. It's a slow deterioration, but there are three main factors that determine the rate of deterioration. One, discharge cycles. How rapidly charge is taken from the battery and for how long? Two, charge cycles. How rapidly charge is given to the battery and for how long? Three, battery temperature. Batteries deteriorate at a higher rate if charged or discharged at extremes of temperature. You see, from that moment, the system is measuring discharge, charge, and the temperature. It is calculating the amount of degradation and the reduction in the battery's health. The calculated figure is known as state of health or SOH. Along with the rate of discharge, the battery voltage gives an indication of the state of charge or SOC. So what does it do with this information? It controls the rate of charge to extend the life of the battery. It can also limit functionality to protect the battery. For example, engine stop start may not operate and the engine keeps running while sat stationary. The question is, how does it know? There's a sensor on the negative terminal of the battery. This monitors the charge leaving and entering the battery. It also senses the temperature. If you haven't already, check out our video on alternator testing and smart alternators. We know that the control system accumulates information about the battery. But before we do anything else, we have to tell it the battery has been changed. I'm going to use the Delphi Technologies DS180 diagnostic tool. With the ignition on and the engine off, I select the register battery replacement function. The function starts. Press OK. The function is now complete. The system will now reset its values to those of a new standard fitment battery. If you don't tell the vehicle that it has a new battery, the system will assume that it has the old battery. That accumulated knowledge about the state of the old battery will be applied when the engine is started and charging begins. And you might find that some of the functionalities are impaired. What may not be obvious is that the battery charging is now optimal for the new battery. I hope this brief overview has helped you understand the need for registering a battery replacement. Thanks for watching today. For more how to's and support, follow us on social media or visit our Masters of Motion online hub. And if you'd like to continue your learning further, check out our range of expert led courses at the Delphi Training Academy. See you next time.